In December, Bante arrived in New Zealand for a three-month extended visit after an absence of some 20 years. He received a warm welcome from FWBO centres in Auckland and Wellington, as well as making time for personal touring around the islands, accompanied by Paramatha. This is a moment I've been looking forward to for some years to welcome Banti Ogion Sangalachita to the Orphan Buddha Centre here in Grenham. I've been mindful for quite a few years of the fact that Again, quite a few years ago, I promised to pay another visit to New Zealand. Yeah? And for one reason or another, this, the fulfillment of that promise, and it was a promise, and of course I take my promises seriously, and for one reason or another, um, well, the fulfillment of that promise was delayed. That makes me all the more happy to, to be here you know, on this in the meantime, thank you for the reception. It's nice to be showered with flowers and things. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm aware that uh, a, a lot of people, you know, throughout the movement uh, do recite the long life uh, uh, mantra for my benefit, and I'm sure it does have some effect. Eh? I, I don't believe that it has a sort of magical effect. Eh? But the thought that um, so many people are directing positive thoughts towards one in that way it definitely does have a very positive and I might even say healthful effect. Yeah? The Wellington Buddhist Centre was established in 1976 in February, so we're just coming up for our 21st birthday. Bente made a visit to New Zealand. That would have been, I think, in 1974 and 75, over the summer. And during that time, I was ordained. Soon after that, I came up to Wellington to live. Uh, it's a very beautiful city. I was very happy to come up to Wellington, but there wasn't a Buddhist group of any sort. It seemed a natural expression of my ordination, my enthusiasm and my, my gratitude to uh, the teachings I've been given to start up a, a branch of the FWBO. Over the 21 year period there's been so many changes that it's almost hard to, to compare how it is now with how it was at the beginning. I think the ordination of Varadevi has got to be one of the biggest landmarks because for a long time it was, I was the only order member and when she was ordained we doubled and that was a very significant doubling. I've been involved at the Wellington Centre for, uh, well it must be actually 21 years now and um, yes it's where I made my first contact. I've been chairwoman of the Wellington Water Centre for uh, eight years now. Well I like living in Wellington, I like Wellington as a city, it's quite a small city, it's uh, got a population of about 300,000 I think and and being small, it's quite a psychologically manageable place to live in. And that also it means, too, being small, that it's very accessible to the beaches and to the hills. Wellington, actually, is the southernmost centre in the FWBO, so you couldn't get uh, uh, further away, really, from the hub of things, from the UK. So being in an isolated situation as we are here means that you do have to develop uh, certain qualities, qualities that are very much um, part of living the spiritual life. We haven't had the facilities like right livelihoods or communities um, for people to participate in. So they've had to sort of leave Wellington and travel, um, well they travel to England. We've been functioning mainly as a stepping stone and this of course is something that's um, 
been like difficult for us here and that we are always sort of building up the ground and we've never been able to until recently sort of do more than that. The Wellington Centre has recently moved to new premises which is a lot larger than our old premises. Having four times the space also means of course that we're paying three times the amount of rent. So this has required quite a sort of leap of faith on our part. So people really came forth and um, contributed in all sorts of ways and sort of with their time and with their money and and yeah, it was really just quite wonderful to see. Yeah. It's special and magical having Bente come to visit New Zealand. He's seen a lot of people individually. It's also a great affirmation for the Wellington Centre that Bente has come here, he's taken the trouble to um, be at the Wellington Centre for a period of time. He's very much wanting us to flourish to the and it feels great. Generally. I've decided to organise the, the poems under the three headings, the three main headings of poems about the Buddha, poems about the Dharma and poems about the Sangha. All I know or care to know is that the arrowy showers, the hard-flung spears and javelins of the foe touching his halo's edge returns to flowers that reigned all night beneath the Bodhi tree as though in adoration or as though in homage to his supreme victory. So on behalf of the Wellington Sangha, a very happy 30th birthday to everyone everyone in the Sangha all over the world. I'm very pleased to say happy birthday to everybody in, associated with the FWBO. Happy birthday dear friends. Happy birthday FWBO from New Zealand. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We'll be celebrating with you here in New yep. Zealand. Oh, it's me. Um, happy birthday FWBO from Sydney Sangha. Happy birthday, FWBO. Happy birthday, FWBO. And how do I stop it?